Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video, I told you I want only the authenticated user to create, edit and delete posts. But right now we don't have authentication system in our uh, project. So let's start and work with that. I'm going to open the VS code. And here, first of all, I'm going to create a controller. We have the user uh, model and migration. So if I go to models, we have this user here and also the migration is coming directly with yeah we have a users here okay let's close and also the database and let's open the terminal and in here i'm going to say php or just use the alias art make colon colon controller and hit enter now the name of the controller is going to be if we want, we can use the user controller and make a resource, but I want to have a different controller for the register the user and different for the login the user. So I'm going to say register user controller, and this is going to be only for the registering the user. Hit enter. Now, if you want a empty resource, I want to be empty this one. And let's create one more for the login, the user. So I'm going to say login user controller. And this one also is going to be empty. Okay. Now let's open the web routes and register the route first. Okay. So here I'm going to say route and not resource, but first going to be get. And I'm going to say slash uh, register. And this for this one, I'm going to use the register user controller class. I'm going to use also the method here. Specify the method name, which is going to be register. And also let's give it a name. So I'm going to name it this uh, register like this. Then I'm going to create a new route for posting the form. So here we're going to render the form. Here we're going to use that for posting the form and this is going to be route post slash register. We're going to use the store method here. Here the register method and here the store method. And we are naming this register store. Now let's do the same thing for the login. Route get login, but the controller is going to be the login user controller and the name is going to be login also for the post login so route post slash login using the login user controller and here we use the store method and the name is going to be login store okay now we have the routes let's open the register controller we are going to use with the register in this video and here let's create a method register which is going to return the register view but we don't have that and first i'm going to add that inside the auth directory and then register okay so let's open the resource views and inside the views i'm going to create a new directory named auth okay so the same thing we have done also with posts and inside the auth i'm going to create a file named register.blade.php okay and one more for the login so let's create right now login.blade.php good let's close this login for now and i'm going to navigate the post inside the create i'm going to select all here copy and i'm going to paste it right here in the register okay uh, let's start and work a little bit with this one. So first, let's change the header to say register. Uh, then we have the method post and the action is route post store. But uh, if I opened the web routes, we named that register.store. Okay, so let's copy this and paste it here. So the route is register store. We have the CSRF token, but here, as you can see, we have title and 
description. We don't need that. So first I'm going to remove the text area and we have a label for title. Let's change that to be for the name. Okay, because if I open the table plus for users structure, we have name, email, uh, email verified, password, and so on. We need to add the name, email, and also the password. So this is going to be name, and the name here is going to be also name, and the error is going to be for the name. Okay, so let's copy now this div and paste it right here this one is going to be for the email so let's say email and the name is going to be email now we are going to change also the type to be email type and the error to display the error for the email okay next for the password let's say here password uh, the name is going to be also and let's select also the error it's going to be password and the type not it's going to be text it's going to be password so we're going to hide the text and we need also the password confirmation so let's do that i'm going to copy this div and duplicate now this one is going to be password confirmation Okay, and also here the name is going to be password underscore confirmation type is going to be password and the error also is going to be for the password confirmation. And I think we are okay now. Let's save and let's open the register user controller because here we need to create this store method. So public function store, passing the request here. Okay, so first we need to validate the data. So validate the request and saying request validate. The name is going to be required. And let's add an array. So it's going to be required. Let's say max 255. And also I'm going to add the uh, main to be five is going to be also a string and then we have this for the email let's leave it like this and just change the password and we add here to be required first min eight uh, is going to be confirmed and then and let's add also the default for passwords we can say uh, rules from the illuminate rules backslash and password defaults but we need to import this so if i say import and not in use rules password but import the rules from the illuminate backslash validation and backslash rules password okay let's use that let's save Now we have validated the data. Let's register the user, create a new user. So let's say uh, the last new user to be user model and create. Okay, here we say name to be request name, email to be request email, password. Uh, I'm going to use the hash facade, hash make passing the request so it's going to hash the string we put as a password and we have here the user next thing is to log the user in and we can use the auth helper here login passing the user and then i'm going to redirect the user so let's say a return to the route for now I'm going to return the post index. Let's save and let's see now. Okay, so if I run the fresh here, PHP Artisan migrate fresh, uh, also seed in the database, which I think if I open the database seeder, 
we create just one user so with a test example.com and let's open here yeah here we have one user now let's create a new user here and for that we need to navigate the slash register so i'm going to say tony tony example here dot test just let me do that correctly and also add password and we need to add the password information if i say store the name field must be at least five characters so let's say Tony Java like this and then Tony example add the password add the password again and let's say store now okay so we are logged in i think we redirected the post index page let's see let's come here and the refresh we have a new user and we are logged in because we redirect to the post index page now if i open here we have this create link as you can see and if i open the index page index blade inside the resources views post it is we have this create link i want to hide this and show only if the user is authenticated for that we have a blade directive so let's cut this section and use that blade directive which is auth which means only the authenticated user can see this block inside the auth and end out so if i put that one now and save or refresh we can see that because we are logged in if i log out and for that i'm going to use the inspect element go to cookies and here we have this travel session i'm going to delete them let's delete also this one now if i refresh as you can see now we don't see that uh, create uh, link we have a csr token and also the level session new one let's go i'm going to close this one and let's navigate again to register okay because we are here now let's say a user example i'm going to not test example But with the, this test example we have in our database. Okay, here is this, the test example. For the password, I'm going to add password here and something else on the confirmation. Okay, as you can see, we have long password confirmation. Just to test the validation. Let's say store. The email has already been taken. And also the password field confirmation does not match. Okay, so the validation works correctly. Now, let's say user example at user example here. Password and also password. And let's say store. As you can see, we redirected the post index and now we see again the create link. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video to work with the user register. And in the next video, we're going to use with the login page. Okay, so see you there. And if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best.